So, hello everybody. Today I've decided to. Sp I'm talking about uh, being this kind of person playing always high tier, but I've never done till now a high tier video. So I now now I decided to to do it by using the premium line of uh, Great Britain which is the rank 6 uh, Challenger DS, Khalid, Roycat and of course the G-Lynx I mean this line is kind of really really amazing if you know what you are doing but consider the fact that you are in the wrong place in the wrong time this is not what's gonna happen but let's jump into the battle and see what these little babies can do because I'm telling you if you for some reason find the right battle for these babies you can get the nuke I've never got one nuke by the way but you can so why not and here I am always going by the highest BR to the lowest BR because this is how I'm playing my games and you would ask what you are going to do with this tank here I will show you I'm always going for A because A is the point where you can if you push it over you can go and flank literally the entire squad on B and somebody on C from these rocks here on B45 because you are right in front of their base they don't have any idea that you are there but you still do what you're supposed to do or in this case kill tanks I'm us usually using lower tiers when I don't want to suffer because it's really harsh to play with the higher tiers and you have to think a lot before any single action that you you do but in this case doesn't really matter because when I'm with my headphones and stuff like that uh, I'm able to, to think more than without them so I don't believe that somebody is gonna come out of right there but I'm not sure at least we the base is ours now so this is great but I don't trust what's happening because one of our tanks just died in the middle of the point A and what I can do is stay here and wait to see who is coming from where okay I saw that guy he's going straight on B on A I'm sorry straight on A I don't know where is him but he did realize that you realize that I mean he realized that he is screwed once I shot him because there is another challenger I can MK2 here with me so there is n not much that you can do against two, two of these tanks they are pretty good so now we have another tank on A we there was another tank on A not anymore the battles with the higher tiers are always pain because you really need to think twice considering the fact that they can see you from 2-3 kilometers away you know so in this case I'm gonna push forward towards their base but not capping of course because I'm going to attract their attention in very negative way and I'm trying to be sneaky little thing 
there is nothing to be worried about here but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up here and when I go up here the first guy trying to go on A is going to be finished badly engine off and let's see I don't hear anybody I'm joking I'm hearing a turbine yes it could be T-80 artillery on B just in case because they're going to try to get it I don't see and I don't hear anybody here this tank is pretty tough cookie to deal with engines on airplane in the air I do believe that I hear somebody that stopped I hear engine that's not revving so I'm gonna go in this direction because I do know that something wrong is going to happen right here I hear engine but I don't know where is that guy and here is actually pretty dangerous place to stay I do believe that he's going to come out of here Yes, he is. He doesn't know that I see him. Okay, that's great. but in this case it doesn't matter because you the only thing that is interesting here is that you have to die now as I said this tank is quite a beast and I don't really know there is another tank right in front of me and is really close I'm gonna go in this direction hopefully I'm gonna get it from here that's the worst idea that you can have but we have to cap there is no other option but to cap because otherwise we are going to be screwed somehow and I know it the base is ours
bit of smoke as usual and we are going from the other side of the map that's bad I don't know what it was but it was bad I thought that is a bomb yeah it is a bomb somebody is bombing me very, very badly that's why I'm going to stay here and let's say try to not die if I try to go from the other side I will be screwed badly ok they are tanks in this direction and maybe in this direction too of course I knew it As I said, this tank is quite good for whatever reason because it doesn't like to die. At least, not that simple. No engine working fine, so no smoke. You see, uh, we have three crew members and they are pretty in good shape, apart one that's dead. And I hope so that we are going to have enough reverse speed to get back whatever that means more smoke and just get the hell out of here because this skill that we've got before it was kind of really really it was kind of really really lucky one as you may imagine but I do believe that somebody is going to come on this B point again because it's the easiest one for them to come over so I'm gonna stay here but actually we won this battle anyway for one reason or another even though I've done almost nothing but survived two or three shots nothing to be worried about yeah this is the win and yeah you can see what the challenger 2 actually challenger ds actually does during the the battles because it's kind of really really armored heavy armored i would say for what it is so i strongly advise if you want to play with the great britain to buy this uh, line of stuff of course i want this heli so don't mind it but these three tanks are going to give you a lot and a lot of points in grinding this tech tree which is really painful like with slow tanks and at least the cannons of these tanks are good so at least you have that but uh, yeah you, you saw it challenger ds what it can do how many shots it can handle with no any issue so i hope you liked it see you in the next one like and subscribe and new videos are going to come